GRE general test quantitative section practice question medium difficulty problem solving question so in the topic number properties focus concept is hcf an interesting question how many pairs of natural numbers exist whose hcf is 12 and add up to 216 what we need to find out is how many pairs of positive integers natural numbers exist that satisfy two conditions the first condition is the sum of those two numbers should be at 216 the second condition is the hcf of those two numbers should be at 12 Let's start with the first condition. Let's say those two numbers are A and B. A and B are both positive integers. The sum of these two numbers is equal to 216. This is the first condition. What do we mean by the second one? What do we mean by the HCF of these two numbers is a 12? HCF means highest common factor. So 12 is the highest number which is a factor common to both these numbers. Which means that 12 is a factor of A, 12 is a factor of B. So second condition, we'll write it this way, 12 divides A 12 divides b or in other words a is divisible by 12 b is divisible by 12 if a number is divisible by 12 obviously that number has to be a multiple of 12 so we can infer that because the hcf of these two numbers is 12 a and b is 12 these two numbers are divisible by 12 or in other words these two numbers are multiples of 12 so we can write a as some multiple of 12 and b as some other multiple of 12 so we'll write them as 12x and 12y if 12 is the HCF of these two numbers, 12 takes away everything that's common between these two numbers. That's what the HCF essentially does. So whatever is left, that is X and Y, which are the things that are left in A and B, they will have nothing in common. They'll have nothing in common, means they have no factor in common other than one. Then these two numbers are called co-prime numbers. So because the HCF of these two numbers is a 12, we can write both these numbers as 12X and 12Y, such that X and Y are co-prime to each other. We know that the sum of these two numbers is 216. Let's write A as a 12x and B as a 12y. So 12x plus 12y equals 216. Both these sides are divisible by 12. Let's divide both sides as the equation by a 12. That leaves us with x plus y on the left hand side. 216 by 12 is an 18. So this is the equation that we're going to take forward and find the values of how many pairs of numbers exist. What are the two conditions that it should satisfy? x plus y should add up to 18. And as a part of it, I'll say that x and y are both positive integers because a and b are positive integers, x and y are positive integers. The second condition that they should satisfy is that the HCF of both x and y should be 1. Let's list on all possible values for which x and y will add up to an 18 first. Let's get there and then in the second step, shortlist those numbers which have a HCF of 1. Some should be 18. That's an idea for us. x plus y is equal to 18. And these two numbers are positive integers. 1 and 17 is one such set, 2 and 16, 3 and 15, 4 and 14, 5 and 13, 6 and 12, 7 and 11, 8 and 10, 9 and 9. These are all the 9 sets of values for which x plus y will add up to an 18. y plus x is the same as x plus y. We are looking at pairs of numbers, we are not looking at ordered pairs. So 10 and 8 is the same as 8 and 10. You don't need to worry about it. Right? We have listed down all possible values of x and y which are positive integers that will add up to 18. Next step, let's find out in how many of these cases is the HCF 1. 1 and 17, HCF is 1. 2 and 16, the HCF is 2. So this is not going to work. If the HCF here is a 2, the final HCF will not be a 12. It will actually be the product of this HCF and 12. So we want the HCF of those two numbers to be a 12. So this is not going to work. 3 and 5, HCF is 3, will not work. 4 and 14, HCF is 2, will not work. 5 and 13, both are prime numbers, HCF is 1, will work. 6 and 12, HCF is 6, won't work. 7 and 11, both are prime incidentally, therefore their HCF will be a 1. 8 and 10, HCF is 2, will not work. 9 and 9, HCF is 9, will not work. So how many pairs of numbers exist where the sum is 18 and their HCF is 1? Those so are only 3 pairs of numbers, so the answer is 3. We'll round it up in a printed form and we'll also check out what those 3 values are. Right? We know this is good enough to tell us the answer. We can mark the answer as 3 and move on. But let's just quickly check out what those numbers are. In the next slide, I'm just going to list down only the shortlisted values. Number should add up to an 18. Sum is equal to 18 in all of these cases. And the HCF of all of these cases is equal to a 1. What are these? These are values of x and y. What are the numbers we are interested in finding out? We are interested in finding out 12x and 12y. So 12 into 1 and 12 into 17, that's the set. 12 into 5, 12 into 13, that's this one. 12 into 7 and 12 times 11, that is this. So these are the three pairs of numbers which will add up to a 216 and will have a HCF of 12. So answer is three pairs of numbers as we found in the last slide, 
Choice B is the correct answer to this question. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up as a trial user for Visaco's online GRE course at online.visaco.com. Takes all of three minutes and two steps to get started. And lastly, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash We keep adding newer questions, give you tips, tricks on how to crack the GRE.